Well, to understand what India accomplished today, let's speak with Francisco Diego. He's a lecturer of physics and astronomy at the University College London. Good to have you back with us, uh, Doctor. An historic achievement for India and uh, the rest of the world. Why is this landing on the South Pole of the Moon seen as being so significant? Well, it is very significant. That area of the Moon hasn't been explored properly. It was actually India, the Chandrayaan-1 that several years ago found uh, evidence for uh, water in that area of the moon, uh, or frozen water, of course. And that uh, triggered a lot of interest in going there because uh, for sure that, was the, the, that will be the first place where humans will settle uh, near in, the, in that area of the South Pole. So it was very important. Now for India, it's a major achievement. It has been, I have been following this mission since the beginning. I was here when, they went, when it was launched a few weeks ago. And uh, it has been a fantastic uh, journey uh, using the gravity of the Earth to pick up speed and then go to the moon and then using the gravity of the moon in several orbits to reduce the speed and reduce the altitude until today, where it was finally left at 30 kilometers high and then landing there uh, exactly as, as it was predicted. A fantastic achievement uh, with a lot of, uh, a lot of um, maneuvers that had to take place and they were all perfect. And some of them were actually automatic in the last the last few minutes, uh, nobody took, uh, had to do anything. It was all automatic until we finally got the signal that he had landed successfully. It was fascinating. I, I'm very excited about it, actually. It sure was, uh, and uh, millions of Indians are excited along with you, uh, Doctor. And we know that the rover in this mission is going to spend the next two weeks collecting mineral samples from the south side of the moon. You mentioned that an earlier Indian rover actually spotted uh, a frozen ice. And what else is uh, this craft hoping to discover? And what implications could it have uh, here on Earth? There are three, three uh, spacecraft here, actually. One is the orbiter, which is uh, doing some analysis of the atmosphere of the Earth, actually, using the, uh, the, the, the vantage position from the, from the moon to take some samples of atmosphere of the Earth and to see what the life on Earth looks like, and then just to get some idea what other planets in the, uh, in the, uh, in the neighborhood of, of our solar system will look like. Number one. Number two, of course, is the, the lander itself, which is already gathering science. It is measuring temperature, it's measuring uh, 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 seismic uh, activity, it's measuring the uh, composition of the atmosphere, very thin atmosphere as well. And number three, of course, is the the Prangian, Prangian, which is the, um, the rover that will be released, I don't know exactly when, in the next few days, a few hours, it will be actually rolled down and start, um, as you said, collecting samples, mainly analyzing. It has a couple of spectrometers that are going to find out the chemical composition in that particular area of the moon. And it also has a seismometer, which is going to measure the, uh, the seismic activity of the moon, finding more about the inter internal structure of the moon, the crust of the moon, the mantle of the moon, and uh, it's a very, very favorable science. If I may say, I, I like the, the, the speech by the Prime Minister Modi because he said uh, that this was not uh, only for India, it was for the whole world. And he was advocating that all these uh, developments, all these findings are to be shared with the humanity and hoping that in the future it will be humanity as a single uh, nation, so to speak, to go into space and, and share all this information in peaceful, in peaceful uh, uh, vantages. Yes, certainly an exciting moment for India and the world of space. Uh, Francisco Diego, we'll have to leave it there. But thank you as always for sharing your thoughts with us on TRT it's World. A pleasure.